Frank and I have enjoyed being here at uh, Arborgate today, talking about some of our favorite plants and some of our favorite plant experiences, and uh, visiting with other gardeners about the about some of the same things. But we've talked about bulbs, we've talked about roses, we've talked about perennials, cats. <laughs> no, I didn't talk about oh, cats. I started to. Oh, <laughs> dogs. I met a dog here. Yeah. Nice dogs. Yeah. It's yeah. a dog-friendly nursery, by the way. We uh, we were entertaining the enthusiastic crowd with tales of heirloom plants and a lot of things that we've rescued and found and I don't think anybody stumbles across more plants than you and I do. I think uh, I think we've we've had our share. That's uh, interesting plants and even more interesting people. That's By for interesting sure. I mean crazy well, nuts. nuts. We are attracted but good nuts. To they're yeah. like moths to a candle. They come to us from all over. <laughs> but they always have cool plants and we always come up with they them. do and we uh, we come up with they share People like to share plants. Especially the old ladies like to share their plants with you as so well. Yes, we, we share lots of plants with each other. And you have, a and you have more, well, you, you, you have. You, you throw a craving over them, they just you, come you have more, to you. You have more you plants. Say, Here, take my plants. More plants than any elderly lady I've ever met. Did <laughs> you say I have more elderly ladies than I have plants? Is that what you said? Something like that. Something like that. The good plants oftentimes come from older gardeners because they've seen things. They've seen all the fads, they've seen all the hot and cold and the Absolutely. last drought and drought before that. And so uh, I remember Mr. Fanick one time when we were introducing Salvia Grey Guy at Lone Star Growers said, let me tell you about the last time that Salvia Grey Guy was in the nursery trade. And you're thinking, what? It's been in the trade before? Well, it's been around since the 1880s or so. So old gardeners and old gardens are great uh, sources, of not just plant material, but knowledge to, to go with them. Well, some of the things that, you know, I just can't get over this John Fannie Fox, you know, that you that you have, and it's just, I, I, it's it's just really, really quite wonderful. It, it's more vigorous than any other fox. It blooms in a time of year when few other things are blooming, and it are you getting less freely. Are we on? Just You're check. on. And it's, uh, it's, I want to do this again, just making sure. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's just a, a real keeper of a plant. It's a. Uh, and a lot of times you, you think when you find stuff that you're just going to see it in a bunch of other old gardens, but more times than not you find out, like a lot of the roses that you showed earlier, it'll be the only place you've ever seen it on the planet, and a lot of people don't realize how precious things like that are, and if, if it wasn't for some nut like us that stopped and got a start of it, a lot of our really good plants wouldn't wouldn't be here, because for some reason now we've not only have we lost touch with our older relatives and our, our history, both familial and garden history, uh, a lot of times People just lost touch, period, and they don't even know what to do. I mean, they don't know how to garden, period, much less which are the right plants. And so yeah. somebody with an inkling has to come along. So if you don't have an older garden relative, you at least have an older garden friend that knew <laughs> yeah. an older garden relative and provide you with good plants and good information. Well, that's true. And I think we, we really did enjoy putting a lot of that together in uh, heirloom gardening in the South. And uh, uh, the fact that the a Press was willing to... 500 color pictures of things like that in a book and make it fairly affordable to people. I think is uh, uh, it was it was uh, affirming to, to, to see that to see that happen. But uh, uh, that's because you have power over them somehow. So I have no no power. You notice the book that I did recently was a skinny little paperback, but I don't have that power over people like you do. So. Well, when they find your recipes at the end of that vegetable book, there. Those, are, those are mama's recipes. I was going to say you, you're. People only the, are giving only the you cornbread credit. was mine. They, yeah, they, they misunderstood. It says my recipe, but their mom was that. Well, I'm glad you're you're giving her credit now. Uh, yeah. Uh, because Write that in your book. Along. Greg's mama's recipe. So, <laughs> and they've got plenty for sale here. So. And she's she's truly a fabulous cook and, and uh, a very gracious. She's a little grumpy, but she does cook good. So. Well, she she deserves to be grumpy. She's been putting up with uh, with you for a good while. She's she's not computer savvy, so she'll never see me. So I can say whatever I want to. Don't count on that. You better not count on that. I have a feeling that she will see. It. She will. But anyway, uh, it's it's just always a pleasure to. Uh, be a, to be a part of things that are going on around your house and, and the, the uh, gardens that you're creating are just really absolutely uh, wonderful and they've got such a message for today's uh, to, today's gardeners because they're you know you hung on message like you were going to say messy which is <laughs> right nine times out of ten so no it's not before you come I'll get the messiness out of it well I put in a, a new herb garden yesterday and they've got great herbs here at Arbor Gate so if you don't have an herb garden you can create one right here today on the property. So well, I mean, if you see missing leaves, it's because I've been
scratching and sniffing everything over there for sale. Well, Beverly was talking about that. that, that uh, about me scratching and sniffing? Yeah. That is a little embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, time to go home. Enjoy it. Arbor Gate. Great talk today. You missed it, but you can watch it on the internet and you can come by our books and some of them are even signs. Good seeing you again. Great being Good with you, Greg. Bye, people.